Rosh Hashanah is tomorrow, and we've got the perfect guest here to revamp some classic recipes from his new cookbook, I Could Nosh. Classic Jewish recipes revamped for every day. Jake Cohen, welcome back to GMA. Yes. Good to be here. We're so excited for you to be here. So, you know what, let's get started. What do we have here? Yeah, so traditionally with Rosh Hashanah, it's all about sweet things. We love edible um, symbolism. So apples, honey, mm -hmm. round challahs for the circle of the year. Um, but today, we're making some recipes from my book that are really rooted in everyday nostalgia. I love the classic of tomato soup and a grilled cheese sandwich. Yeah. So, and it smells so yeah. good. It smells really so good. good. So I'm gonna put you to work. We're making it, no and the problem. only twist is we're gonna roast our tomatoes with harissa. So harissa. have to put these on here? Yes, yeah. everything is going right onto the tray. We love the so onions, basil, garlic, honey, yeah. but harissa is this North African chili paste. It's spiced with cumin. It's so amazing, but you could also yeah. use whatever kind of spice. Yeah, I was gonna say, what you if you love. can't find harissa? I mean, it's great with gochujang, an incredible Korean chili place. You could just use crushed red pepper if you like. Really, oh. anything you like, go wild. I'm a big believer in just taking my recipes and running with them. I'm enjoying watching Michael have to do yeah. all the work I here. love this, this is Very the best. Much. I'm not a so, stranger to the kitchen. So you, <laughs> yeah, chef, we are stray, right? That's right. Okay, so here, you. what do you do with this plate once you get everything mixed together? It goes into a 400 degree oven for about <laughs> yeah, 40 that's minutes. Right. <laughs> Delicious, amazing. Oh, wow, a pro. So it goes in the oven. It goes in the oven, we roast it, and then we're gonna pop it right into a pan with some heavy cream. Mm. Delicious, makes it a bisque, some salt and pepper, and then we're gonna just puree it up. Right in there. Right in there. And if you're not in a position to, I don't know, if you're not in a position to get really good tomatoes, what do you do? So it's great all year round. That's why we roast them. It really helps caramelize that sweetness. Mm -hmm. But depending on the moisture, you could always add in a little water, a little uh, vegetable stock, whatever you got on hand. To go with it, the best bread for Classic a grilled cheese yeah, is? It's challah. Yeah. It's sweet. <laughs> so what we have here is we're just going to like top it up with, I use a combination of cheddar, sometimes some gruyere. We're going to cook it in some butter. And it's just a really Classic combination for dipping. Well, they say tradition is, is, is to have round instead round. of grated. Why yes. is that? Circle of the year. We again, it's something that where it's this one time where you get to restart, put intention towards the year ahead. All right. So, why do you like challah and, and grilled cheese? What is what? Sweetness. It's we sweetness. love the con sweet and savory. It's a classic thing. Wow. It's a classic yeah. combo, and it's so perfect. Yeah. Speaking of sweetness and perfection, over here we have <laughs> truly the absolutely most delicious dessert, oh, which man. has been brought to us by your nanny. Yes, this is your my great grandmother. My great grandmother's apple cake. I got this. This is from my great great aunt Susie. This is the recipe card she wrote it on. Wow. It, it's traveled many many uh, miles to get to New York, and really this is the ultimate fall dessert. The ultimate fall dessert, whether you're Jewish or not, but it's perfect for Rosh Hashanah. It's a combination of apple with ginger, nuts, raisins, and what we're gonna do is, uh, yeah, we could do it, but we have, we have some already done. You're ahead of me, huh? I want it we to know, work. We know the power of TV <laughs> magic. Um, the, the whole point of this is you make this cookie crust, uh -huh. and you yeah. press two-thirds of it into a pie dish, and the rest just gets crumbled on top so as easy. a streusel. So I'll have you, you can like sure. crumble it on. Okay. And, and then this, it, but you say this is a, good, a great make-ahead dessert. Exactly. Right? You could have it assembled like this in the fridge and bake it fresh. Or most of the time, when I tell you, my mother's favorite thing in the world is her freezer. We'll bake this, <laughs> pop it in the freezer whenever you want it. You just pull it out. I want to see Mama Cohen's freezer. That uh, oh my God! Awesome. It's a time capsule. <laughs> I'm gonna let you two try that because I, I gotta read a little bit and then I'm jumping right in <laughs> with you. But you guys scan the QR code on screen to get these recipes on GoodMorningAmerica.com and Jake's cookbook. You can tell it's a lot of delicious recipes in there. It is available now. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.